Good day there, people of YouTube. What's going on? My name is AK Ramy, and I'm one of the members here of the PC Gaming Enthusiast team. And today we're going to be taking a look at Pure Farm in 2018. And uh, I'm a happy to be a skilled farmer myself. I just took over the place uh, when my old pappy died a couple days ago. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. I can't. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you happen to be from the South, please do not hurt me. I'm sorry. That's just like the stereotypical farmer voice. And I just wanted to try it to see how it would sound. I am sorry. Let's let's start this properly now, shall we? Hey guys, what's going on? The name is AK Ramming, one of the team members here at Pizza Gaming Enthusiast. And I am not a farmer, but I am someone who has put far too much time in Farming Simulator 17 from Giant Software. So today we're going to be taking a look at... Pure Farming 2018, which looks to be a possible competitor to Farming Simulator. Since Farming Simulator has been going on for a number of different years now, and a few uh, alternatives have popped up, but most of them have kind of felt like cheap knockoffs. So today we're going to be taking a look at this one, because it looks very interesting. When I saw the trailer for this, I was very interested in this. And so I asked for a review code and the folks over at Ice Flames and Techland Publishing were happy to provide this. So thanks to you guys, the developer Ice Flames and the publisher Techland for providing a preview code. Now this game doesn't come out until March 13th, so that's quite a bit of ways away from the time that this video is being uploaded. But I, they sent out the code and so I'll be playing it until then and when I will release my formal review. But today we're just gonna be jumping right into it. I have not played this game yet at all. Like if you watch any of my other gameplay videos here on this channel, even on my own channel, um, usually when I do a gameplay video, I've typically played the game already just to see how it is. But I was so excited about this game that I just decided I'm going to give my true 100% absolute positive first impressions. So I'm just gonna shut up and we're just gonna start. Now first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and set my character. I did peek through the menus just a bit so I'm going to just see what we have here for customization. Do, 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 do. Hmm, which one looks good to you? I like the plaid. I actually own a shirt like that. <laughs> but again, I am not a farmer. But huh, I'm liking this red shirt. This red shirt looks pretty good. And let's give our guy here a... I guess we could give him... Yeah, the red cap looks good. Oh, okay, so you can only customize the shirt and the cap. Okay, Zetor, whatever Zetor is, I don't know what it is, but, or is that Tor? I don't know how you would pronounce it, but let's go ahead and jump into the graphics. Okay, so running at 1080p, full screen, V-Sync, um, let me knock that down just in case. I may enable it again, but I just want to jump in, hopefully with this being a good frame rate. Let's set the limit to 60. I'm just starting small here. I did put my, uh system specs at the beginning of the video, but I just want to make sure we don't jump into it and it runs like garbage from the very beginning. So as you can see, there are two different modes. There's free farming and farming challenges. And the farming challenges are really just like they're um, pre-made challenges, as you can tell, that take place on different maps that the game has to offer. And with each of these challenges, the interesting thing about them is that they're meant to be played like a little bit at a time. So if you've played like the real farming simulator, <laughs> I want to say real, but if you've played like the original farming simulator, then you know that it's a very time consuming game. So those challenges here are for people who just want to jump in, get something done and just hop right back out. So it should take like just a few minutes versus uh, an actual session, which could take an hour or more. But we are going to jump into the free farming mode and I just want to just test just to test it out. Now, our only option seems to be Germany. We can pick our star balance, though. And which one should I go with? I know in Farming Simulator, if you pick normal mode, I think you start off with 100k. I want to give myself that extra 50k. <laughs> I'm not going to go for the highest. I'm going to go for second highest. No, it's actually on the second highest. It's the third highest. 150. And let's go with sunny weather. The time of day is morning. Use modifications. Okay. We don't have any modifications yet because obviously the game's not been released yet. So there are no mods. But we're just going to go ahead and start. As we can see here, uh, it looks rather interesting. Um... Very interesting. Yeah, it does not look as amazing as what I saw in the trailers, but eh, it's, 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 it is what it is, but it does look pretty decent. There does seem to be a bit going on here. Um, the quality of the models, like if you just look at this combine here, 
The quality of the models are already on par with what Giants is able to do. That is a very detailed model. So I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. And of course, you clearly notice that we actually have like an actual human farmer here. Like, as you know, in Farming Simulator 17, um, you can only be in first person, a first person view. The only time you ever see your farmer is if you go into like the uh, external camera and you can kind of see their model. Actually, I don't even know if you can see your own model. I think you can only see the model of the virtual workers that you hire. So yeah, we have a, ourselves a virtual farmer here. Wearing the clothes that we saw in the customization menu. And as you can see, we have some starting equipment. We have a small trailer. I, this is a plow over here. We have ourselves a single tractor. And of course, we saw the combine over there, which does come with a head. And we do have a trail, um, a, sorry, a front loader attachment for the tractor, which is good. Over here, we have a very, very nice truck, a Chevrolet truck. And so yes, all these vehicles are licensed, so it's not off-brand vehicles, they are licensed, just like Farming Simulator. It looks like Ice Flames is already giving Giants a bit of a run for their money because the graphics look pretty decent. The models look very good. We are playing with an actual human. And yeah, the quality seems up there. Frame rate? Frame rate isn't... Yeah, it's, it's running a little bit less than the original Farming Simulator, but I can deal with that for now. It may have to do a bit of graphics tweaking. But we have some humans here. Okay, this guy is over here at the barbecue, but he's not barbecuing. We have two guys over there, they're talking. A very detailed environment here, as you can see, the landscaping is absolutely beautiful. This is the Germany map. So this is Germany. And yeah, overall it looks pretty decent. So, in typical farming simulator fashion, let's just jump right into the truck. Like, who cares about the actual farming equipment, right? Let's jump into the truck. Okay, it says the Mitsubishi L200. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Chevrolet? I don't, I obviously don't know my, <laughs> I don't know my symbols, my bad. Right, so we have ourselves a Mitsubishi truck. So far, handling is decent. The twitchy handling from Farming Simulator is here though, oh my goodness. Look at that. That, that <laughs> oh good grief. That's kind of twitchy, but I was doing that deliberately, it was kind of exaggerating it, but it's not as precise as I want it to be, it's like overly precise. Okay, grief. So I guess gonna have to take things a little bit slow. Like, what is it with farming simulators and their inability to craft proper driving mechanics for vehicles that don't move at the speed of a tractor, that move faster than a tractor? Like, if you're gonna give us a pickup truck, which clearly can move faster than a tractor, can you make it, like, enjoyable to control said pickup truck? Come on. But we do have cruise control, and I took down a traffic cone there all right okay we have different camera options oh wow whoa, whoa, whoa let me just stop for a second take a look at this interior wow that is detail you can even see the stitching in the seat that's some forts and gran turismo level of detail good grief guys this is actually genuinely impressive i am actually impressed right now wow that's highly detailed we have ourselves a very sleek looking tablet up there. Very, very nice. Wow. Color me impressed. Okay, and the sound does change when you're inside. This is very nice. We're taking a little tour of the town here. Wow. Okay. Let me loop back around and we're right back here at our farm. So we just went in one big circle. I didn't want to drive too much. just wanted to get my bearings with the driving mechanics. So yeah, I'm not too impressed by how the truck controls. Unfortunately. It has the same problem the farming simulator has. But, that's, you're not going to spend a whole lot of time in the truck, let's be honest. So let's go ahead and leave. And automatically the engine turned off. And let's actually go in a vehicle which where we will be spending a whole lot of time and that is the tractor itself okay enter a vehicle all right now how do you drive okay the handling it's a bit better like i said it's like these farming simulators their driving mechanics work 
decently well for slow vehicles like tractors and harvesters. When you go in a much faster vehicle like the truck, it's just, <laughs> it's just overly sensitive. But hopefully I may be able to like edit that or something, I don't know. But so far it seems to be pretty decent, okay. Okay, now let's pull up our map for a second here. Which is on our tablet, okay, very nice. So that's our current location. And you can just pan here. I'm looking for what could be our field, and I'm, is this one of my fields? It doesn't actually say. Is it, okay, fruit, vegetables and fruit storage, okay. Okay, no, that's not one of my fields. I'm just noticing at the very top right, you can see that it actually tells you what it is that you're highlighting. The map seems decently sized. It's not huge at all. No, it's not huge. There's an airport? Is that an airport? Logistic center, okay. Okay, so the map is not very big at all. Not a very big map. That's worrying, but it is very detailed though. So, quality over quantity perhaps? I don't know. Rabbit cages. <laughs> we have rabbit cages, okay. Canola storehouse. Okay, so we have a canola storehouse. Okay, so. I'm just gonna go over to field one here. Cause I can't exactly, oh. Oh wow, <laughs> smart farm, interesting. A drone, activate the drone. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> okay, we have a drone, all right. So, Pure Farming 2018, we even got an achievement for that. So Pure Farming 2018 is clearly the most technologically advanced farming simulator. Oh, we got a drone, we got a tablet. Oh, we, we're, we're popping here, guys, we're popping here. Okay, interesting. And we can buy the field from the drone. Well, you know what? We have three hundred and fifty euros, so let's purchase it. Yeah, let's go ahead. It's only ten thousand, so why not? Okay, and we even have some statistics right here. Zero percent for everything, obviously, since we just bought it. But okay. Now I'm not exactly sure why you would even need the drone, honestly. But, I mean, it seems to be pretty handy. It's super stable like an actual drone, wow. This is pretty cool. Like, I'm, I'm hoping you're hearing like from the sound of my voice that I'm genuinely surprised and impressed by everything that I'm seeing here. So yeah, this is pretty decent. Okay. Gives us a nice bird's eye view. The town, like I said, the map seems to be incredibly small. But okay, we're losing signal. Wow, that's that's really realistic. So the map seems to be incredibly small, but highly detailed. Like the level of detail here is a little bit more so than what you get in Farm Simulator. So there we go. Now the drone is landing. Where is it? Like, does it show like the actual animation? Oh, there it is! Do you see it over there? It has a little landing pad right here, and it's actually shaped like an actual helicopter, not a quadcopter. And hey, 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 I'm walking here! Okay, this is very bad placement, like my farm is clearly next to a public road. Okay, then. But that's our drone right there. Interesting. I guess they got the licensing for the tractors and whatnot, but they didn't get the licensing from like DJI or something. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and jump to the tractor. And I did actually end up setting a waypoint with that drone. So, you know what? Let me take the plow. Let's get into some actual farming now. Because this, of course, is what you're actually going to be doing all the time. And, okay. Sorry. There we go. Right button. There we go. Okay, so we have our plow. Then we're gonna go drive over to the field. Oh wow, the door automatically opened. Yeah, the level of detail of all these models is pretty legit. Genuinely impressed by this. Okay, so even though we just bought this field, there's already something on it. So I'm guessing the previous owner. 
couldn't leave a clear field. That's fine. Okay, so, okay, so if you look over at the left, you can see there's a button prompt. The Y button is going to let us hire a virtual worker. So, right there, yet another feature from Farming Simulator 17. Let's try and see. Okay, move the device down. Yes. Okay. There we go. And we're plowing. Okay. And I'm getting some vibration as I'm plowing this field. Something I do not get in Farming Simulator 17. That's pretty decent. Okay. So far, so good. And in a typical farming simulator fashion, like, you know, it's going to be a slow process. <laughs> this is what I mean. Now, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video, like how there's the farming challenges mode. It's going to allow you to just hop in, do something really quickly. I think I'm probably going to make another gameplay video that's just dedicated to the challenges mode. This is just me goofing off, getting my first impressions of the game. So, okay, move the device up. There we go. So yeah, okay, GPS mod has unfortunately not made its way into this game. <laughs> and if you don't know what GPS mod is, it's a modification for Farming Simulator 17. As well as past versions of Farming Simulator that allowed you to basically, it's kind of like Tesla auto steering in a way. It's gonna keep your tractor moving in a straight line. But I'm just gonna try and keep things lined up as best that I can. With just the manual controls here. Now, I know if you happen to be like a fan of other simulator channels like Daggerwind and Squirrel, Squirrel especially, I think he makes. Actually, no, I can't remember which one of them does a lot of farming simulator videos. I think they both do. But anyway, there's two popular uh, simulator channels here on YouTube. So you may be used to like watching the slow, monotonous gameplay of a simulator. But. All I'm doing right now is plowing a field, so let's go ahead and use the power of editing to speed up this process, shall we? Three, two, one, fast forward! There we go. Feels done. Okay, no, it's not done. Um, you probably saw the percentage. There's only like 96% done. Yeah, there it is. 96% done. As you can see, I do have a bit of patchworking to do. But, eh, uh, that's to be expected. I hate using these sh plows in this shape. I don't know. I can never get properly straight lines. It's already hard enough. But, eh, uh, it's whatever. The point is, most of the field is done. I did not want to create a whole entire video just me going back and forth on the field, especially since I didn't really have much to talk about during that time, so I put together that little, like, miniature epic movie. Hope you enjoyed that. But, yeah. In the meantime, I did get a chance to, like, you know, just put together my feelings for the game so far. For the most part, I have to say, like, basically... The best way I can describe it right now, like in a crude way, when I say crude, I just mean very unrefined, like I'm, this is just my thoughts on the top of my head, is that this feels like a heavily modified Farming Simulator 17 copy. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like I just reviewed Aquamoto Racing Utopia for Nintendo Switch, and I gave that game kind of a low score because it felt like a cheap imitation of Nintendo's Wave Race, right? So with this, 
this is another imitation. Like, this is pretty much just an imitation of Farming Simulator. Like, there are a lot of mechanics, even just the, some of the control inputs are basically like it's been lifted straight from Farming Simulator 17. But it's like the team over at Ice Flames took Farming Simulator 17 and just did a whole lot of stuff to it that made it better. Like, honestly, like, this is an imitation. This is a good imitation. Like, I'm I'm happy with this because I actually wrote an article saying uh, flawed but flawed but popular simulators. It's a series that I made over at GamingEnthusiast.net. And Farming Simulator 17 was one of the games that I highlighted. And I highlighted that some of the flaws were that, um, like, for instance, mods. Like, you need a lot of functionality is added to the game through mods, which is can be said for a lot of games on PC. But... It's like certain things that had to be modded in just felt like they should have been there from the base package. Like it seemed to be kind of a left down that uh, modders needed to add something in, whereas the developers should have just added it in the first place. So what I'm seeing here is that Ice Flames has done just that. Like they've added in functionality that's kind of in Farming Simulator 17, but it's only in it if you get the modifications. And I just did the review for Farming Simulator uh, Farming Simulator on Nintendo Switch a little while ago, and because there are no mods, like, at all in that game, like, on PS4 and P um, Xbox One, you can have some mods, but on Nintendo Switch, there's no mods for that game whatsoever, so that was the pure, basic, vanilla version. So that reminded me as to how heavily modified I have Farming Simulator, um, Farming Simulator 17 here on my PC, because playing that vanilla version, it was still enjoyable, but I missed a lot of the functionality that I got from the mods, whereas here... Certain things that are modifications in Farming Simulator 17, I hate, can't, can't stop, can't keep saying that, I'm just going to say FS17. Certain things that are in FS17 are already present here. That are mods in FS17 are already present here, and I like that. Like, take for instance, like, just look at this UI. Look how much stuff is going on in this UI. Like, you have a fully detailed mini-map here at the bottom left. You have a compass. To your right, you have all these statistics for your for your a field and these are things that you can get in farm 17 but again it requires you to get a mod for it and then the thing that i like the most has to definitely be the tablet like let me pull up the tablet here like this tablet which is clearly a samsung knockoff as you can tell by that home button but it doesn't matter but just look at this tablet i mean there's so much details here like you get the time you get the calendar you get the temperature you get the amount of money that you have. It's telling you quick statistics like the number of machines you own, the number of fields, the number of windmills, the number of greenhouses, even the sapphires, which I'm guessing is like the gold nuggets in FS17. So you can go straight to your shop from here. You can buy your agricultural materials. You can buy, you can sell stuff. You can go on the stock market. Like so many different things. You can go ahead and get a loan from the bank right straight from your tablet. You can like, there's a lot of functionality here. Speaking of functionalities, we have player status. You can recover your vehicles. What else can we do? Like, you can take a look at all the... You can buy vehicles straight from your tablet. Of course, you have the drone mode, which you already showed. You have the map. Again, a fully detailed map, which is really nice. And then the encyclopedia telling you everything that you need to know about the different aspects of your farm, which is very, very nice. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Basically, like I said, it feels like a heavily modified FS17. And there was actually another uh, simulator, another farming sim that came up a couple months ago. I actually wrote a report on it, and when it came out, like, you know, it was just blasted with negative reviews here on Steam because it just felt like a cheap imitation of the actual farming simulator. Like, I didn't play it, but once I saw the reviews, I was like, I don't want to play that anyway. Because it did not review very well, because it was just a really cheap, really basic imitation. Whereas this, it's like they took the FS17 um, formula, and they built upon it, and they made it something really good. So my first crude impression of this is that it feels like FS17, but a little bit more refined. And like, you can even see that in the graphics. Like, take for example, look at the lighting effects. Like, let me turn on the lights. How do I do that? Okay. Let me turn on the lights for a second. Like, just the way, like, the... Like, look at the shine here. Look at the shimmering of the lights on the plow here. Like, just look at... Look, look how it's glimmering. Like, you don't get that effect in FS17. So even just the graphics, subtle graphical effects 
are a lot better here. And like the physics for the most part kind of feel similar, which means that it's decent, but it could be better. Like spin tires has totally spoiled me when it comes to driving physics, like off-road driving physics. Like after playing spin tires and coming back to games like farming simulators, like these physics are super basic. But anyway, I digress. For what it is, it's very, very good. And I, it looks like it's doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. And that is, I was hoping this would be a good competitor, a good alternative to Farming to Farming Simulator 17. I don't know why I keep getting sent up when I say that. To FS17. And it's doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. Because like I said, it feels like a modified, very nice version of that game. And which is a good thing because that's going to put the fire underneath Giant Software's feet to do better. Like they just suddenly confirmed that FS19 is coming. So I'm hoping that it's a remarkable improvement over FS17, but now I want to see how it compares to this, to Pure Farming 2018. So this actually seems like it's going to be the first true competitor to FS17, which is great. First true, com true competitor to the FS series in general. And I'm very excited to see, like, you know, what comes of this game. So, yeah, this, like I said, it's just my first impressions. I just wanted to jump in here and try out the game. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to be doing a second video. Um, I'll see what I can do with the graphics to get a little bit better performance, hopefully. But I'm going to do a second video, and in that, I'm going to cover a farming challenge. So I'm going to play the game a bit, get my bearings a bit better, then I'm going to jump into that farming challenge. And I'm going to do that for the second video. But, yeah, I just wanted to just give, like, a quick look at this. Like I said, my first impressions. I know, like, this wasn't the most professional thing. Like, I, this video probably isn't as good as what Squirrel and Dagoin could do. But, hey, give... Cut me some slack. I'm just trying here. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope you guys uh, do happen to be as impressed by this as I am. Because I'm genuinely liking what I'm seeing here. So, like I said, the game comes out on, I believe, March 13th. If that's incorrect, I will correct it with text on the video. But the game is coming out March 13th. If anything, it's coming out in March. Okay? Put it that way. <laughs> it's coming out in March. So, it's a little bit of a, while, of a while from now. So, I should have enough time to really get into it. And have a much more proper opinion of which I have to because I'm going to be doing the review. <laughs> but so far, I am very impressed by this. Like, if if this impressiveness keeps up, I think I'm probably going to give this a pretty decent score because this is really speaking to me right now. So anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. Let's just park the tractor. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think of the video itself. And also what you think of the game. Are you impressed by this? And what are you hoping to see from it? And other than that, uh, please make sure to go ahead and check us out at GamingEnthusiast.net. Out all of our feature articles and reviews and news. And also check out our sister websites at Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox Enthusiasts. At the same time, if you like hearing my stupid voice, you can go ahead and check out my YouTube channel at Extremers Productions. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.